They saw it's live, but just to yeah, go, go to my channel. I'm the only viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, just in case if you guys are watching it after this is uploaded, currently we're just making sure that the live stream from our um, Evo, um, it doesn't channel. show on your channel though. I searched it up on your channel, it didn't show. Um, version 3. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it has my old YouTube channel right here. Okay, so hey guys, um, if you're if you go to my YouTube pay, um account, like search up Breaking Fear, on the home screen you you will see um that custom production live stream. So essentially, this before I changed to the Breaking Fear, this was my channel that custom production, and that's where the live stream is taking place. So yeah, I think my brother's watching. Yeah, I already have two viewers. Um. Uh, so I um, can let me pull up my laptop so that we can use your phone to do anything okay. if you want. Um, but essentially, yeah, I think you're the one of the viewers on this thing right now. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay, so hey guys, welcome to this live stream. Your crappy laptop. Yeah. So my name is uh Kasim Siddiqui, Q A S I M, and I'm here with my good friend, Giant Hawk. And um, I want to give a shout out to his brother. Do you wanna? I uh, I'm not sure if he's watching, but if you want to say something, go ahead. You know where uh right now I'll be going on YouTube so that I can read your comments and whatnot. But the next live stream I'm thinking of doing next week during um uh you know the weekend. But um, I'm thinking of getting. If you guys know Cypher PK, he is a um, famous Fortnite um, streamer, a uh, streamer, gamer, whatever. And actually, today I got to meet him, and I told him about me doing a podcast on my channel, and he was like, "Yeah, sure, I can join. Just DM me on Instagram." So I was. I'm thinking. Yeah, uh, I'm think. I mean, he, it sounds like he's faking that, but let's see if he actually wants to join. If he wants to, you know, that'll be cool. And you know, I'm trying to get other people to you know join to a podcast so that it doesn't feel like you know boring, and you guys can listen to this nice conversation. And later, we will also be posting this on um, what's it called, SoundCloud. Once we have maybe better equipment or a little bit more devices to handle with, as you can see, maybe the audio might not be clear because I'm using the audio from the from this live stream camera, and this is not mine. Is it? Actually, my parents, so I might have to either use my phone or my laptop over here to do a live stream. But you know, uh, I'm going to try my best to do a consistent podcast. It's better than nothing. Hey, yeah, you see, better than nothing. So, um, do we get any comments? Mm. Oh, we got like three. That's, that's my brother. Okay, my so you, you're, you're, you're the one of the viewers on here because yeah. you have to check your comments. Yeah. I will log in. But uh, you can log out, and then uh, essentially we have two other um uh, viewers. Let's switch hands. Oh, I, I can ask the soft little brother to watch this. I mean, yeah, if you want to. So um, I really want to talk about the new Samsung phone, which was released. I don't know if you heard of the new Samsung yeah. phone. So is it like the like newer one? Like you can like get it from like uh, spending something, and you can just get it. No, but here, um, if you guys don't know, the new Samsung Galaxy S10, S10R, and S10 Plus were just announced, and the S10 5G announced. So, I don't know if you know, but, uh, 5, you know, you heard of 3G, 4G, yeah, yeah. cellular. Apparently, 5G, um, right now, they're, um, we have now 5G carriers, carriers doing 5G, and it's brand new right now. But, we're just waiting for um uh the carrier or we're just waiting for it to be better like now 4g is better originally it started 4g started when um i think the era of the smartphones began so around you know the first iphone to iphone 4. now uh, now we have 5g network and essentially yeah 2g is gone long gone 
um, 3G might be gone during the 5G area era, but we still have we will still have 4G. And the price for 4G might decrease. Um, you said fast. Could you see it a little closer to the camera? You want me to point the camera? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what he's asking. So, this is the first kind of like proper setup of a live stream, but not a proper um podcast. So, um, sorry if this whole podcasting does not work out, but we're trying our best to do it. I mean, it's not our first podcast. And it's just my first time doing experiencing things. I'm still learning how to do this YouTube channel. Um, it takes time just doing this. I'm pretty sure like people like Smosh took time and whatnot, and now they have you no. Know, now they are like the successful YouTubers, but maybe still learning. Um. Okay, so uh, we just lost a viewer. True. Mm-hmm. I have four viewers. I have three. I don't know, Sean. I should probably use that bit. Um, but yeah. Um. Yeah, I still have three. So uh, have you seen the new what's it called? Um, uh, we just lost another viewer. Have you seen the new what's it called? Um, you you heard uh heard uh, that Captain Marvel's coming out. Yeah. And um, okay, so right now. The guys, you know, the big leads, so like, you know, you got like, and the movie critics, you know, IMDb and those guys, the people who are working in these movie industries, reviewers, they are, they can watch it right now, but for us consumers, we'll have to wait, wait until like Thursday night, Friday morning, or like Friday to officially see it in theaters. And, um, yeah. Uh, also, I mean, I'm going to be watching it on March 10th. Actually, so the movie comes out on March 8th. I have day off from school, but I might do maybe some sort of vlog or some sort of mini podcast where I'm just only in it. And then March 9th is my birthday. Which March is 9th is when I'm getting my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then March 10th will be when I watch Captain Marvel. And I might not immediately give out, um, well, put out a review. I might do a review maybe during, or during a podcast, but not completely. Um, what else? Um, what else? Yeah, so I might have to do it on Thursday or Wednesday. Thing is, on Friday, not this coming Friday, but the next Friday after that, um, I'll be traveling to another country, and I might not be able to bring my DSLR camera or GoPro camera or whatnot to, you know, show pictures, you know, take pictures. I might have to use my phone camera to actually take pictures. Um, but I will let you guys know on Instagram and Snapchat, um, which I will link down below for you, um, got for you guys who are trying to get into, um, or who wants to, you know, communicate with me through social media. So uh, I'm active on, um, what's it called? On uh, normally for t- I have Twitter. Normally I'm active once every week, but sometimes more than once. And I normally talk about my opinion on things, my personal life, and just news. And then for Snapchat, it's just my kind of like my vlog thing, or your vlog thing yeah. also. And then for um, what's it called? Um, Instagram, I do a lot of photography. I have three accounts. One is my personal one, but I don't use it as much. Another one is uh, if you guys check out my YouTube channel, there's the about page. Um, I do a photography um, photos, mostly mobile, but sometimes I'll do it from my DSLR few times for my parents iPhone 10 and 10s camera and my brother's iPhone 7 plus camera cuz I mean I have a one plus five I have the seven and his camera is a little bit better than mine because mine my phone's more about the kind of budget and half the cost of uh, you know phones like this but you know faster uh, operating system um, but yeah, I do mostly on this, and I've done a few on an iPhone five C using Crick's filters and whatnot to make it look good. Um, so if you guys want, I might just put on the descriptions right after this uploads. But essentially, my um, Instagram account, uh, account is hey, it's custom, H E Y I T S Q A S I M, and my Twitter account is Brickin Dude. You only have one view, I think that's me. Um, so we want, I want to talk about the new Samsung phone because a lot of uh, YouTubers, mostly tech YouTubers, are making videos about it. I just 
don't have the time and and or ever to do it. This is why I came out here to do it. I mean, he just came to my house right now, but we met up over here because I wanted to, you know, uh, for you guys to have like a proper video or something. Um. So, uh, I might upload the audio for this on SoundCloud or other like MP3 type of players. But if you guys want to see the S7, I mean Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, um, or those sound newer Samsung phones. I suggest watching MKBHD and other tech YouTubers video like unbox therapy but here um if we can somehow minimize the screen um here um if you guys can see it I'll put the brightness high um there are this is essentially a um an iPhone 10s um Comparator. So you know how the iPhone XS lineup? There's three. Yeah. XS, XS Max, yeah. and XR. And yeah. XR since has XX Max yeah. with one camera. Well, not. Essentially, iPhone. This Samsung new Samsung lineup is essentially just trying to attack the new iPhone XS phones. And so, the, what's cool about the newer phones? So you heard of OnePlus, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The new OnePlus phone currently, the 60, which came out end of last year, has a in like the fingerprint inside the display inside the touchscreen which is pretty cool and it's like it's not like face unlock which is you know fake and whatnot it's like the literal thing they use like camera sensors and actual fingerprint technology from here to put it on the display and essentially um uh, what they did was samsung improved on it and um what they did was uh they had um uh made it a little bit faster but still slow um and yeah so the iphone the samsung galaxy s10 is essentially iphone 10s competitor the plus version the max 10s max competitor and the 10e which is essentially exactly an iphone 10 R competitor literally it's the same price 755 iphone 10 R 755 i mean 750 10 R and galaxy s 10e and what I like about the SME, uh, I think it's on the SME, but I know for a fact it's on the other Galaxy phones, is that the front facing camera is essentially a 4K camera. Really? Yeah, because if you look at um, other smartphones, they all have like 1080p selfie camera, right? But the uh, iPhone was the first one to improve the selfie camera with 60 frames per second, which for me, I mean, and a lot of tech YouTubers love it, you know, 60 frames per second makes it faster, but. 4K it makes it a little bit better, but I feel like you have phones like um, Samsung and things like that in terms of video, um, uh, what's it called, video quality, it's not as great as iPhones, iPhones have the best one, like I remember when the Nexus, okay so you, you heard of Google Pixel mm -hmm. guys right, Google Pixel is Google's phone, essentially before they started that in 2016, like I think from the beginning of smartphone era, like the 2008 till 2015 they is Google made their own phones which was called Nexus and when they le released the Nexus 5 Pixel and 6P they had the 4K camera just like the iPhone 5S I mean 6S which came out the same year and that had um, image stabilization meaning if your phone shakes a little bit you know which we all do it will stabilize it but with the uh, Nexus phones the 4K capability sucks so like um, I suggest watching um, this take uh, YouTuber. He does vlogging on his other channel called um, what's it called? Uh, Talos of Tech. Uh, I don't know if you heard him, no. but he's, he's a small one. But he he has done some videos with Marcus Brown. I, you might have seen him. African American tech YouTuber, uh, and Jonathan Morris, two biggest tech YouTubers. And he was also featured in John Morris's videos. But he was vlogging through the Nexus Six P using the back camera like this. And essentially, it was terrible. And I feel like uh, it will happen with Samsung. I feel like Samsung's just trying to play like the best specs, but not really focusing on like the usability. Like honestly, Android is a good operating system. You use Android. Yeah, it's my first phone. Yeah, but the problem is since it's on many different phones, including this, and it's not just on Samsung's. I mean, on not just on Google's phone. It's on every other phone to the point that like they have to, what's it called? Um, trying to optimize it 
for each, uh, what's it called, four other devices. But the problem is there's different phones with different sizes, different camera qualities, different display qualities and whatnot to the point that it just lacks. That's why iOS is really good. Actually, there's a really famous tech YouTuber, um, MKVSG. He, he did two videos on why he doesn't like the, uh, why he was switching from OnePlus to Pixel constantly. He, the only reason he would go back to the Pixel phones, which is Google's own phone with their own operating system, was because the camera was freaking good. But the reason he would go to the OnePlus phones is because OnePlus phones, at least with OnePlus, they're um, they care about user interface um, and essentially um, you know, just the uh, fast it's just the fastest Android phone with close to um, the usability of Google Pixel the thing is since it's a cheaper phone right cheaper than Google Pixel Google Pixels other than nine hundred to a thousand dollars the thing is that the camera on the OnePlus 60 is not as good as you know, Google Pixel um, but it's okay, I would give it a B minus, but yeah, just with Google Pixel, it's so lucky. And um, I was talking about it on your way. Too much brother said. Um, <laughs> yeah. So essentially, um, don't worry, we're gonna do some prank calls. Yeah. Uh, so essentially, with me, um, you know, the reason I'm using this phone, I was my father was about to get the Pixel phone and I didn't buy because it, it was an overpriced phone I'm pretty sure th this phone is like the best phone you bought yeah like better than way better than the 5s 5s even the 5s was good it's yeah. just that you know the battery was bad yeah Apple did also I don't know if you heard last year but Apple was um, giving discounts to every I was uh, every person with Apple products to you know repair it for like $29 instead of $75 and it's because um I don't know if they're with iOS 11, they had um, make the battery slower or something, make the phone slower. So they were like, yeah, to make it faster, you have to replace battery, so we're going to give you discounts. So yeah. So, I heard some, so there's some... You know where you can find this? Okay, so uh, some, well, some of you guys, uh, if you guys haven't bought, um, you know, subscribed to this channel or check my other videos, I did a review on this jacket and actually a good friend of ours and my, his, my friend our friend is actually, um, his brother is closer to our friend. Yeah. And essentially, he um, created the check. He's doing his own brand. And yeah. He's only selling it locally. So I suggest going to Austin, Texas and then hooking up with him. Um, his name is Zia Dayub. And he's doing a, um, what's it called? Um, a company called Shelf Cap. If you guys can see, this is the logo. Holy jacket with this. You know, I really love it. And actually, a lot of people who bought it loved it and yeah. like people are buying it left and right to the point that his um I think co-workers started buying it really I think like it was I think either his friend or his co-worker or his friend from college or something bought it and put it on Instagram and then he put it and then Ziad put it on his um, yeah on his story yeah on snap Instagram so uh, if you guys want to contact him the best way is to go to Instagram and um if you, is it okay if you put the link um, just put his Instagram yeah. username it's Zia Dayu you don't yeah. have to talk yeah. so uh, my you. friend over here will put his um, username on a, um, his Instagram that's the best way to communicate with him and honestly he, this is like the best jacket I've ever worn people love it and people say they just the thing is okay I love this jacket it's just that maybe next time I think next what he'll do is if he's going to sell another product clothing product or something he's going to reduce the price for this and the thing is this is a good selling jacket for youth it's just that not everyone has some money mm -hmm. I, I i understand because uh like as a guy who's whose parents are like you know <laughs> kind of rich <laughs> sure we all know. rich but the thing is it's just that they don't use their money why you say they just buy things weirdly like i don't know if you've seen my saw my instagram story no 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 my snapchat story i, I put this online uh on snapchat my dad bought another 4K TV. It was LG's, I think it's like a thousand dollar or over a thousand dollars. Thing is, um, so we have now three 4K TVs that we use. One in my parents' bedroom. Um, sometimes you'll go into my parents' bedroom because they will put the best drama, Turkish drama out there, mm -hmm. which is called there to go if you guys haven't heard, based on a true story. And then we have another one in the living room. 
which my brother uses it, my small youngest brother uses it a lot for PS4 Pro because you know PS4 Pro only supports 4K TV and he plays a lot of Fortnite which I hate. <laughs> we people. all know you hate that game. Uh, the thing is I don't hate Fortnite. The problem is it's just that people are just playing it too much and talking about it. The point it gets really annoying, like I'm telling you like if a te- I'm telling you if a teacher, you walk into a class and the teacher says, says the same thing for an hour and 30 minutes in that class every single day until the end of the school year, you will get annoyed. I mean, that's what I feel like. But now, if you noticed... It's Fortnite, actually dying down right now. I mean, not the game isn't like Minecraft. It's, there's some people playing it, yeah. and some YouTubers. It's just that the popularity, like most of the popularity, maybe amongst your group friends it might be popular, but for the whole entire world and the country, it's dying down in popularity. And people are playing... Um, I have something else to do prank calls right now. Um, yeah, and I actually met Cypher. He's, uh, what's he called? A Fortnite streamer. Yeah. I mean, he's the reason yeah, I, I like so him is because he. The reason I like him is because he's a nice person. He's cool. He's coming. I don't know if you met him before. No, I have. But I like haven't. the re- the way I kn- knew him was he. Uh, we went to um, a Muslim school mm-hmm. when we were young. I was like in first grade, and I think he was in middle school at that time when the school opened I knew his father his father comes to this mosque a lot I know his brothers a lot um his I think uh, his brother Osman like the second youngest one not the youngest but the second youngest he knows me kind of really well because he's a year older than me and he's one grade ahead of me well now he's in college last year was his senior this year I'm a senior he just and he graduated he knows me more we will sometimes hang out or not and he's a really cool guy um Honestly, um, like he, he was really nice. So today I got to meet him. Like, the thing is, I I see him like around places, but I just never got to talk to him. And today was actually this was my first time actually talking to him in person. Like in person, I met him uh, when I was in first grade. Like I I've seen him in first grade one. I just never went up to him. This was my first time actually meeting like the third. Best you the third YouTuber like Muslim YouTuber, I met Baba Ali. He was actually the first Muslim YouTuber. I met him like four or five times. If you guys didn't know, Baba Ali was the first Muslim YouTuber. I met him four or five times in Houston and Dallas, and then I actually met Dean Squad. The so uh, there's this program called Isma. It's a Muslim thing, and um, it's a Muslim convention. And essentially, um, um, Baba Ali goes there to um kind of advertises marriage um, website which is actually really good and it's not like oh a day inside oh I'm going to bang this girl it's like oh he he does this algorithm where like you have to answer questions and then you will look for the right person and the questions are like clean which I like um so he was over there and then this and then I met my second you I met another youtuber right Dean Squad he I, I think you guys know him, them, they're one of the biggest Muslim YouTubers next to Fuzi YouTube and Kai Sumer. And they do like music, rap, but Muslim editions. And I met them, um, what happened was that Fisa actually doing a vlog. I don't know if you've seen it. I did, I made a vlog over there and I yeah. think you saw it like me, yeah. the first Muslim YouTuber. The second day, I was doing a vlog. And uh, the way, you know, I, and the thing is, since, you know, the back camera was a better, you know, camera than the front one, because, you know, bigger sensor, I was doing this the whole entire time. <laughs> I recorded most of it, but I forgot, but when I pulled my phone out to do this, to record, I forgot to press record, but <laughs> and I literally no. had a conversation. <laughs> but luckily, I had pictures with him, because I did a selfie picture with him, and it's on my Instagram account. <laughs> I was like... Okay, I got back home, right? This was like two days after I came back from Houston, from the convention. convention. I was trying to edit that vlog. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, sh-. Well, I was like, I'm screwed over. Because I told people on Instagram and Snapchat that like I vlogged that shit. And I told all my friends who weren't there that I vlogged it. And I'm like, yeah, my vlog was messed up. Because it was mostly heavily on top of that. And I did small scenes, but... The big scene was when I met them. So yeah, um, and then my third YouTuber encounter um, was 
What's his name? Oh, he's Piper. <laughs> and then the fourth biggest YouTuber I've met, but not Muslim, was actually um. Uh, <laughs> Look what I just got. <laughs> this person has been calling me twice. But isn't Toys R Us dead? I mean, they can't do that. There's no Toys R Us. Yeah, I feel like it's fake. Yeah, like I hundred percent feel like it's fake. Dude, the first okay, so the first three digits over here next to the code area. It's literally my same one as mine. Really? But the ending is different. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. Essentially, yeah. Apparently, someone decided to text him like a free Toys R Us gift card, which I think mm. just already it, it was like ranked. It was bankrupt, and they shut down all of them since what June of twenty eighteen. Literally, like only I think there's like only one Toys R Us store still alive or dead. Yeah. Right now, it's like what March of twenty eighteen. <laughs> I mean twenty nineteen. Oh yeah, so I want to talk about YouTube. So I don't know if you heard, but like YouTube is doing like some weird algorithms where like, okay, if someone puts a bad comment on YouTube, they will take down the video. Really? Yeah. Like I, automatically. Yeah, automatically. Why? Because essentially, you know, spon you know, companies sponsors these YouTubers, and they don't want bad. They don't, like if someone puts bad comments in that, or like if someone. Does anything bad to the video or anything to, uh, or any creator to uploads a bad video or something bad inappropriate? Essentially, the company will not um will not support them. So recently, you had few companies. I think Walmart was one that was like, yeah, we're not sponsoring. This person is still calling. Okay, so apparently this Let's person prank calls in. This thing. person right over here. Here's the number. Is trying to prank call my friend. I don't know if you can see, but here, we're going to answer it. Hello? Hello? Hola? <gasps> Hello? 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 Are you, are you the one who is... Dude, you just texted me that it's a Toys R Us. They Thank closed you, down. Who I mean, Toys R Us is dead now. What are you doing? There's no more Toys R Us. Store. <laughs> then what was the point of calling? I mean, if you're going to be a scammer, okay, I never like people want to scam shit. But if you're going to scam, at least. Be smart about it. You have to know what's going on in the world to do a scam. I mean, come on. I mean, that was a terrible scam. Like, he talked and then just, like, left it. He didn't answer. He said hello at the beginning, right when I answered the call. Didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Then says hello again. And then say, and then there's another pause. Yeah. And it'd be like, they'll be like, oh, we want a free gift card. I'm like, yeah, you just texted me a Toys R Us gift card. <laughs> hey, you want a prank call? <laughs> hey, so we're going to do a prank call. My brother's been asking, like, he's like, like. Okay. So I can, like, if there's a new comment, uh, it will pop up on this um, app that I'm using. Um, mm -hmm. Wait, oh, what? Okay, let's see. Okay, just type in the password. Um, so we're gonna actually prank call a friend again. Luckily, there's no one here. It, as you can see, this is the camera to the mouth for the first four. Mm. Well, yeah. How do we like know there's not like, like they can see my number? Star 6 7. Oh, okay. Classic. But let's first see. What? <laughs> Bro? <laughs> He's. You know. Uh, just got a notification. Well, there's this college called Lutheran Texas University that has been known. Um, I I don't even know half of the people because this is like connected to my brother's phone. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Mm. Wait, who's this one? That second one is that you, his brother? Yeah. Where is the? Oh. I'm sorry. He's, if he's, not, he's not even home. Where is he? I think he's at work. He's not even I'm sorry, bro, but even watching this, I'm so sorry. 
right now right now we're trying to you know just have fun and do this podcast talk about things you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying you know <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're, I'm getting a private call currently so let's see hey Steve hold Tempura? Umar? Huh? Umar, it's gotta be you or Ali. Come on. No. Oh, yeah, it's Umar. It's Umar. <laughs> it's Umar. <laughs> I'm on a live stream. Hey, check if I'm still live streaming. This, 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 is, this is Zachary from Pizza Hut. Your order for 100 pizzas is ready, sir. Would you like to pay cash or debit card? Yeah, it's still working. Uh, yeah, I would like to order, uh, like you, let me give you my, um, uh, credit card information. Uh, okay. Wait, just... Ali? If you're watching this live stream, then you know that, you know, you're trying to ruin it. I'm... Okay. Ali? Ali? This is Zachary, not Ali. Ali? Zachary from Pizza Hut? Uh, normally when you prank call, you just, you never ever say your name constantly. You just say it's Pizza Hut. Then how did you get this number and why is your number private? I would get a Pizza Hut number because I've done Pizza Hut calls in order before. And normally when they call me back, they would use the actual Pizza Hut number. Okay, okay, listen, 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 listen. Best thing to do is since you have my number, text me a picture, a selfie of yourself. And you know what? Goodbye. Um, sir, I gotta go. You have to go? Uh, yeah, I'm not ordering that pizza. Okay. Well, it's being delivered. Where is the address? Uh, you, uh, it's at that Round Rock, uh, Islamic Center, right? <laughs> Clearly, Umar, it's you. Orly. My, my name is Zachary, no. Yeah, look, if you're gonna just give your name oh, out... Oh, no, they, you can't because the number is gone. You, they normally can't. You can't call them back. I don't know. But let's see. You see, you see, people. This is why you should look. We're trying to have a nice conversation. <laughs> we're not scamming people. We're saying. Okay, okay. So here he goes. Hello. Tempura, we know, we know you're at Houston. Hello. We know you're prank calling. Hello, is there a guest? Oh, hey, bro. Is this the bigger bro? I, <laughs> I know he's watching this. He's been wa he's been spamming the freaking conversation. Do a prank call. Do a prank call. You know, if I had uh like another cell phone or like a tablet, I can just you know you can get phone apps, right? Because originally before I had my service, I used to use this phone app, and which works on um tablets and other phones, and I would just I, I would use it to make calls to my parents. So if I had another device, I would have made calls to my parents. Oh no no to you know I mean prank call. Yeah. Oh god. Hey uh so Captain Marvel. Yeah, I'm probably gonna watch it next week. Okay, what do you think this movie will be about? Probably like, I feel like she's gonna be like, well, probably like, probably to like the end of the movie, she's like gonna be with the squad that wants to defeat Thanos. Yeah. yeah. I think like towards the end, they'll show like, oh, past, time has passed by, or oh, it's the Avengers timeline. The, the Twitter is just calling me again. Yeah, okay. This is the number we'll pick it up.
Hello? Offer ends in 64 hours. Claim now. Hello? Offer ends in 64 hours. Okay, this is not really good. Hey, it's now. I'm going to go to Hey, my God. I had to go on a regular voice now. That's not, I felt like a robot because after, like, when you, you were talking, like, you heard some background, like, thing, and then right after they were done talking, like, it cuts to, like, complete silence. My brother said that wasn't me, that prank called me. That did the no color ID. I don't even know, because I don't know what's going on here. I've been getting too Like, calls. like, guys, I know this is not a normal, uh, like, what, I normally podcast? don't get these calls. Okay, this is not a normal, uh, like, you know, podcast. We're just talking for fun. Okay, this is our first time. We're just coming up with things. Oh, yeah, what's it called? Um, the You've seen the Spider-Man trailer, right? Uh, Spider for the new Spider-Man Homecoming. I mean, not Homecoming, Far From Home. Essentially, they just ruined it. Really? Yeah, because it's the same one that is in the Avengers movies. And, okay, here's my problem with you, Marvel. You. Okay, so the, uh, we're on. Pissing me off. This is the number. If someone can prank call this number, uh, we will just be glad. And if we get over a thousand subs, like ten thousand subs, and we do make money, we will send a good gift to you, like a phone or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. We right now. I'm only have sixty two subs. And yeah. Well, Assad has a little bit more than 62. Well, cuz, I mean, come on, he, he had knowledge. I mean, he has I, like 60 something. I mean, like with me, I created my YouTube channel, right? When I created yeah. my YouTube channel, I, I just like, I was just like, okay, here's my YouTube channel. Oh my God, let me play some games. <laughs> okay, thing was the way, okay, I was in, okay, I didn't randomly make a YouTube channel. I was already, you know, Kai Summer, right? Yeah. YouTuber? Yeah. I would like I was like a big fan of Kai Summer, and he actually retweeted my tweet one time. Um, it's a true fact. I will. I done. I sent some. Uh, I I can. Yeah, I don't know if it's prior time. Um, you might have to cut this. Seven thirty coming. But you know how it is. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, Kai Somar apparently retweeted my tweet, and the reason I was inspired um, by his, um, the well, originally the reason I was kind of inspired by um, uh, what well, YouTube was because of him. Um, Kai Somar, I created this YouTube channel because I was inspired by YouTube. Um, you know, but at that time I was using a Nexus tablet, a Google Android tablet, and my mic broke on it, so I. So I only do gameplay videos. I couldn't use the camera or anything. It was not until I upgraded my tablet to a Samsung tablet. And that mic was working. And I used to do a little bit of voice um, gameplay. But it was like more like mobile. And it was trash. Then from there, um, I upgraded right then. I think it was 2016. So a year before 2016, I upgraded to my Samsung tablet. A year after 20, uh, 2015, 2016, I had my first smartphone ever, which was the OnePlus 3. And at that time, it was the phone, right? The phone that OnePlus released. And actually, so here's the thing with OnePlus. They, uh, so this OnePlus 5 and 5T is actually the OnePlus 4 and 4T. The reason they didn't call it the OnePlus 4 and skip the numbering to 5 is because in China, it's an unlucky number. Four is an unlucky number. So yeah. So essentially, um, I had I did few like videos where I used the camera, but mostly it was just gameplay and video recording. Um, let's just know don't do another prank call. But then what happened was I think when I I did I remember one time I did a screen recording with my voice reviewing my phone, the one plus three I was using at the time, and it was not until. Why you got this phone in 2017? Yeah, 2017. And it was at that, it was, I think, two months before OnePlus announced the OnePlus 6 and released it. Because 2017 was the year when OnePlus uh, released the 6 and 16. No, it was 2018 when I upgraded this phone. My bad. 2018, because I haven't upgraded my device. But in 2017, I bought this device, and it was like my first like personal laptop. Cause 
I did have a laptop and a PC, but it was like um, only kids only thing, like where I had to share with my brothers. My brothers would play for like originally when Minecraft was the thing before Fortnite, he would play Minecraft all day long. I didn't have anything except my tablet. And then I had this, and then I had this, which was cool. Now I can do v my own video editing and record videos like this has 4K now. The thing is, okay, my only issue is, okay, with this phone, the mic is not as good. And just overall, the performance is not as good as an iPhone. And the reason I say that is because I'm from a guy who's an Apple family. My family uses a lot of Apple products. We have iPads, iPhones, AirPods, and whatnot. But we also have... um. Not just that, we also have like Roku and Apple TV, but we have Roku and other devices. And I grew up using like both worlds, and um, I even used Android. So mostly it was like, um, no. So you know, I grew up with two worlds, and I feel like Apple was the um, the best company, tech company. And I feel like okay, Windows laptops are good, but I think this is just not a proper laptop. The reason I say is now you have like you no know, Samsung un, um announced the folding uh, smartphone where when you unfold it it becomes a tablet. Bad idea because it's two thousand dollars. The reason it is because they have to fold the display and that's super expensive. The phone's too thick and it's not a really good performance. Just like that, this is a tablet slash uh laptop hybrid and it uses the same ones that you would use on a PC. Gaming PC. And essentially, with that, it's not good. And the reason I don't like it is because, okay, it looks good. It's thin. I like it how it's super thin, but there's a difference between um, having cool things like this and actually using it. Like, with, um, what's it called? Okay, just okay, when I'm typing, this is in the way. Uh, the keyboard's a little bit flimsy. I'll be using it on my lap because you that's what you do, uh, do on your lap with your laptop. You put on your lap and you do work. Thing is, a the thing is, this folds the keyboard, which is not good. And you have to pay $100 extra for the keyboard. And this, okay, you have the touch screen, but it's really complicated. It takes so long just to use this habit with your know, touch screen. That's why you need the, this keyboard $100, so just use a $50. Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. And then we also have the kickstand. Okay, it's cool when you use, if it's a tablet, it would be cool to have a built-in kickstand. Now the problem is, it's like, okay, I'm using it on the desk because, you know, I can't use a key, I have to use a keyboard because it sucks using a touchscreen, like a, a PC operating system touchscreen, only using touchscreen sucks, so you, you have to pull out the keyboard. But, okay, so, you know, it's 2019. Now we use laptops and tablets at school to do work. Come on. Yeah, you do. I mean, you've been alive since what? You started school back in the day, and you've seen high schoolers not use this back in the day. Now look at it. Now the, you, you, you have to, not just have to need to use a computer, and bring it to school, or you have to use the school uh, Chromebook or something. And just this, this has been falling off so much times. It's to the point that I have um like scratches or when I was thinking of reselling it but yeah so much scratches and I'm the type of dude who likes to keep his things clean like devices with no scratches and protection and I've been trying to protect it it's just that like okay I had a surface pen and I lost it because the thing is I know that iPod, iPad Pro has it uh, has a magnetic pen and I love it but the thing is with the iPad Pro okay the screen is like this right and the, you put the pen over here, so essentially you're really holding it like this, and it won't fall off, okay? Because it's secure, and you know it's magnetic. The thing is with magnetics, I mean with magnets, it falls off, right? With certain movements. So the magnets over here, and you have to place the pen over here. Thing is, okay, I'm walking to school, and my school is really small for a lot of people. And I mean, you you might have experienced you know, people bumping into you constantly, nonstop, every day, to the point that your fall things, uh, your things fall. And literally five times, like five times each day, my pen will drop. Wow. Yeah, and not just that, just so much people in my school, and it's like a really small building. The hallways are even way smaller. You have people like crowding up, meaning that we have so, so small space to get through that it falls off and I don't remember I don't I don't remember the last time I had my pen.
Oh wait, my friend's calling me. Um. Oh, yeah, no, that's bad. Okay. Okay, we can maybe take a call. Hello. Hello. Hey, Johnny, I'm, we're watching the stream right now. Yeah, I know you are. We want you to. We want you to um call the number. What Twitter number? Runs. Oh yeah, just to let you know, just to let you know, you're on the stream. You're um, you're on speaker mode. Oh, all right, cool. But can you call them? Which number? The one that was trying to call us back? Uh, call us with yeah, the app? Yeah, the, the we had two numbers. Not, no, but okay. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. The thing is, it's a robot speaking. What? It's a robot okay. speaking. Yeah, but but um. What if, because you guys said that you heard background noise, so what if it's no, not No, it's not like background noise, it's like, you know, when you're talking to a, a mic and there's no background noise, it's just that, just sound thing, you know? Like there was no background noise? Yeah. Shouldn't you like just try calling them anyways though? Look, we're not, I don't know, like, maybe next live stream, if um they try to prank call us again, we would do it. Look, here's my problem. If we're going to prank call us, you star no, six wait, seven. Wait, wait, what if, what if, what if, um, what if, if there's a person on the other side, but they're playing an audio clip? Try to prank call us again. That's what but I was like, thinking. But what? I feel like, I feel like, if they're doing an audio clip, the thing is, they would, there would be some sort of background noise. It's like some sort of movement, yeah. and you would be hearing that. You know, like the, maybe the phone shaking, and you hear the phone, the mic, you know, with the phone shaking and whatnot. And the audio was so clear. What if, what, if they're muting, what if they're muting themselves after the audio clip? But the audio. I don't think that's possible. Because if they're going to do another recording, I feel like then they have. That's not possible because the audio of it was super clear. Uh, and also, it was an Austin number. Yeah, it was an Austin number. But, I mean, like... That's scary, though. Like, I don't want people calling my phone, though. But, no, so the thing was, first, like, right, I think towards the, like, during the beginning, towards the middle of it, he calls them, and we're like, yeah, it just might be someone. Let's just not call. Then he texts this dude, um, oh, you have this Toys R Us gift card. And mm -hmm. thing is, Toys R Us is dead. We all know. And then so we're what like, if, what if it's an outdated scam? Maybe. And then you got a, another phone call from like, beat the heart. I don't know, it might be a lead. Or it might be a friend because, I mean, you can tell by the voice. Yeah, what if, what if, and he what knew if, the exact location. We didn't tell the location of where we are. Yeah, they, they exactly you just, know. I, Okay, here's the problem. The prank call I got, I didn't tell where the location was. And, and I only told it to my best friends. And only to him, only to it to like few people who I trust and they will never give out the information. Like the phone and, number? No, my location. And like essentially, um when I was getting the phone oh, call. Oh yeah, because because the scam the scam tries to like think that it's like a friend or someone that lives close to you because But the thing is the I live kinda of far, it's a driving you literally have to drive over here. And they literally know the location where we're streaming. Yeah, and then they're doing it. And so. he, yeah, he told the address of this place. What if, it's, what if it's one of your friends trying to, like, um, like they have a recorded scam no, on No, no, no. Like so the one that prank called me, I feel like he knows me and he knows where I am currently. So he, uh, you can tell because. Obviously, he's watching the stream. And he, there was some background like, noises you like heard. A, it sounded yeah. like a woman. No. no. It sounded no, like no, a man. The, so the one that was from his well, phone from, from, from sounded like a woman. It sounded like a woman. The one from his phone sounded like the woman, but the one from my phone, we can easily tell the voice. Uh, it's someone we know. Uh -huh. So there, so there's one, maybe. So there were like two different callers. So one was calling his phone, and the other one. Was no, calling I think I phone. think the one that was actually calling this dude uh, could have been an actual scammer. Yeah. Because. And the, and then the second one is just like a friend. Yeah, friend, because we can tell, because he uh -huh. gave us the exact location. He comes to this mosque a lot. I know his voice. I hang out with him a lot. He's like a brother to me, so it's like I really know uh -huh. him personally. So I know his voice. You can easily tell. Uh -huh. Yeah. I like how no one's watching the stream anymore. <laughs> Wait, 
wait, wait. How many people are watching? Hold on, let me zero. Check. That was just zero. Like during your, like right now, during this phone call we're doing right now, there's zero streamers. Oh, now there's two. Now there's two. Me and three. maybe I don't know because I'm using this. I don't know if you can tell, but like I just told everyone on the live stream. I'm using another. I'm using this camera and I'm using an app to control like the camera and it's showing me that there's like zero views. So maybe this might this app might be behind on you know the views. Oh. But yeah, uh, like thanks for your support. Like we're trying to do this podcasting every weekend. Uh huh. So like I was thinking, um, okay, so I'll be gone for like one whole week. So I was thinking, if you and your friend over here wants to maybe do this podcast for like that week that I'm gone, because I'll be gone for maybe. two weekends. So you guys can take over it for two weekends. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Because but I might be busy. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so guys, uh, if you guys are watching the live stream right now, um, I might not be here. Like I said, I'll be traveling to another country. And be they careful, won't though. Huh? Be careful on what's going on. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to tell where I'm going because it's. I just don't like telling the public. But Yeah, yeah I get it. I get it. Yeah, in this country, because... in this country, like, I heard that um, it's better not to bring a camera because they can take it away and everything. Uh-huh. And like you know, so I'll be bringing can't my. Like, so you can't like do like a vlog. So I'll bring my cell phone, of course, but I might have to get like a dummy phone or something because I heard that like in some cases when you go to um the um. Another place the, than your. No, like phone when you when you go into the is. what's it called airport okay. for security, they tend to look into your phone or something. That's why. Oh I heard. yeah, like a, like basically like a scam airport. No, no, it's not. They just, they just want to make sure that nothing bad happens to the plane or like well, no terrorist so, attack. But, but by that, you're just uncomfortable with people going through your information. Yeah, and so like they've been doing that to the point that like, um, uh, like I suggested my friends and the adults who are going to bring a dummy phone. Mhm. Mm okay. Well, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for your support. Bye. Bye. Okay, that was kind of weird. Okay, um, let's change this up a bit. Um, we will, if you guys want to be in the live stream doing a phone call, we'll be happy to. Just don't prank us. Scam us or prank us at all. We just want to do a normal podcast type of thing. Essentially, I mean, what's weird is like normally with these videos, I would always show something to the public, but I feel like you, you you can just open another tab and then go back to doing your work without like looking at the video so you can literally listen to this so guys I know this was not perfect podcast but this is my first time ever in my life doing the podcast being in it and actually doing it on my YouTube channel so um I'm actually gonna call oh, this podcast yeah. breaking cast or how would you do you want it to call um breaking cast or um uh, Pod feud. Pod feud. Podding feud. Pod feud. Nah, pod mm -hmm. feud. So this is uh, okay. So what I'm gonna call this podcast series called um pod feud. I might just create another account just to do the podcast, and then on this I would maybe put highlights and then just do other things on this channel. So yeah, I will create several account, and then like on that podcast account, I might just do news and things like that on it. So yeah. There's Toys R Us person. Yeah. Okay, if you're the Toys R Us person, here's a number. Please don't call us again. We don't like when you're trying to bother us. But they're also spam calling. And us, then so. the reason we have smartphones and numbers is so that we can call, like, do emergency calls and everything. I mean, that's why we have numbers. We're not here to just ruin people's lives. The reason we actually have numbers is that we can have a good, you know, um, what's it called? Good communication with our loved ones, friends, and family. So, um, thank you so much. I'm gonna end the live stream over here. Um, please subscribe, and I'll put the link. I, I might create a new channel for the podcast, and I might put a link on it. I'll I'll make a separate video about my new channel and put the link in the descriptions. But for now, yeah, we're gonna call this series uh, Pod uh, Feud. So, yeah, thank you so much. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram. 
and I'll get back to you guys soon. See you guys later.